I want to finish this series by explaining more about the overall vision for the fuel project. The vision for the fuel project is to inform and inspire Christians to turn their faith into action and ultimately to mobilize the church to go out into the world, courageously challenging corruption, injustice, immorality and godlessness and spreading the uncompromising gospel about an uncompromising saviour to the four corners of the world. Know Your Enemy was step one towards the fulfilment of that vision. The aim of that series was to highlight the fact that the world is a battleground and that we are living in a time of war. The intent was to expose the fact that we have a very real and highly organized spiritual army working against us, often in ways we don't realize. I wanted to unmask the work of Satan and show how he operates through various guises. The hope is that if the church can see what the enemy looks like and how closely he lurks in the shadows hoping to remain unseen, we would be stirred from our apparent slumber and would be inspired to fight back. This series, Stay Free, is step two in the fulfillment of that vision. It has been designed to show that we, as the church, are the only group who can actually do anything to reverse the world's plunge into darkness. Politicians can't change the world with their laws and their liberalism, but we can. The aim here was to emphasize that the world needs God, that he is the source of morality and freedom, that we are commissioned to take his message of liberty to the masses, that we need to act rather than retreat, that we need to put aside our ridiculous legalistic bickering about clothes, hats, hair and holidays, and that we need to start focusing on things that really matter. Indeed, perhaps the main aim has been to make sure that we're all clear about what the gospel actually is. It's unhelpful to our efforts, just as it was unhelpful to the apostles' efforts when we preach freedom in Christ only to find Judaizers sneaking in behind us perverting the message. There has been a lot of that kind of bickering over Sabbaths and holidays on the Fuel Project Facebook page in the months since Know Your Enemy was released, and it's caused much confusion. We need to cut that out, live in freedom, and focus on giving freedom to others. The aim from here is to create a third series which is to be titled The Restless Church. If step one was to identify the enemy and step two was to understand the solution, step three will be looking at how we implement that solution. It will look at the church today, how it compares to the early church. It will look at our traditions and customs, our effectiveness, our weaknesses and our strengths, and how we can go about living in a biblical way, a way that makes a real impact in the current spiritual climate. Looking even further ahead, the aim is to have small groups of people meeting in various towns and cities around the world. Groups who see the problem, understand the solution and are ready to put their faith into action within their local communities. We can do that in increasingly creative and innovative ways. It should be an exciting journey. To facilitate that process, the aim is to release a series of short videos which will go under the name Kindling. Kindling because it should be material that helps ignite some fires. The vision is to make each Kindling video about 15 to 30 minutes long and containing a single biblical principle. These will be designed for use in the small groups. The idea is that the groups will watch, discuss and then put the principle into action in their own lives and local community. By creating a network of active small groups like this, the aim is to begin an innovative movement that will have a real impact in villages, towns and cities around the world. Now, as we work towards this vision, expanding and improving on the materials and implementing new initiatives, the unfortunate reality is that financial backing will be needed for this project to keep going. The truth is that none of this can happen without your support. The first way that you can help, if you have the means, is to buy the materials rather than copying them. The income from those books and DVDs is currently the only means of financial survival for the ministry. The second way is to sponsor the vision by way of donations. At the moment, donations can be made by PayPal using the address authenticfuel at gmail.com. As described in this series, no one should feel under any compulsion to give, but if you have found the information useful and believe the aims are worthwhile, please prayerfully consider how you may be able to help this ministry with your giving, and in the meantime, we'll end this series with a final part, which will expand a little further on that vision.